chlorophycin. So uh, most of these organisms are grown in marine water. See, every life is a uh, bit in the case of uh, plant kingdom. See, not like uh, remaining chapters, uh, this is quite difficult one because uh, this is one of the most confusing chapter. Uh, see, the confusion may start with uh, examples. Many number of examples are given here. That's why uh, we have to read every line of NCRT here very carefully and uh, we have to prepare our uh, own notes also. Then uh, these notes is uh, very, very supportive for the preparation of the plant kingdom. Right. See, what I am trying to say here, every line of this chapter is very, very important and all examples also very important. And see the POPIC, uh, in that case, most of these organisms are uh, grown in marine. See, most of these are grown in marine water. Right. And coming to the next one, uh, cell wall, <coughs> the chloropyce cell wall, we are already discussed. Inner wall is made up of the cellulose, outer wall is made up of the pectin, in the case of the chloropyce. And coming to uh, POPICE here, the inner wall is made up of with the cellulose, but the outer wall is made up of with the algae. Outer wall is made up of with the algae, right? See, the story is put here, the laminarium and the panicum. These are the story is put here. See, in the case of the chloropyce, the story is put better is there is a chloroplast in there, chloroplast that involved in the photosynthesis, starch is synthesized, the starch is synthesized. Okay, by the uh, light and dark reactions and start is stored within the specialized structures uh, which are called pyroids which are located on the chloroplast structures. The pyroids are basically involved with the storage of starch with proteins. Means outermost layer is the protein and inner part is the starch. So in that case, the storage, pyroids are especially involved with the storage of uh, starch and the the proteins, right? And coming to the next one, here, the story is put here. The pigments are there, there is a chlorophyll A and a chlorophyll C, chlorophyll A, chlorophyll C, and the phycobalins are there, phycobalins, and fugosanthins and the xanthin. See, fugosanthin is a one type of xanthin, remember, but this is very special for the fugosanthin, so that's why I have mentioned here separately. Fugosanthin is nothing but the xanthin. Here POPIC is exhibited the brown color, right? And the thalamus structure is the simple branch filament structure. Simple branch filament structure. Ectocarpus is the finest example. And next one is that the profuse branch structure. Profuse branch structure indicates here calyps. Profuse branch structure indicates here calyps. So here ectocarpus and the calyps, which are having the two different types of body structures, right? Ectocarpus and the profuse branches, uh, branch structure, calyps. We know calyps which have grown up to 100 meters height and which are also supporting for the extraction of uh, iodine. Right? And the reversion process here, uh, there is a fragmentation process in there. Fragmentation is supported by the fucus. Fragmentation is supported by the fucus. See, this is one of the fucus plant. Fucus is also called rockweed. Fucus is also called rock weed because these are the plants which are attached to the rocks, which are attached to the rocks. How the attachment is taking place, I will explain. And as I said, we here, there is a fiery form or the PF shape for spores are produced. Uh, we know we discussed already, this is one of the uh, juice spore, right? Here there is an unequal uh, two lateral plasmas are present, right? And which are supporting but the low motion of the spores. So these are the asexual spores. The sexual spores here produced by the mitosis process. And the sexual reproduction process here, isogamous and exogamous are the two gametes. And the remember that whatever the chloropyce and the rapiopyce in that case, here isogamous is there and isogamous is there and the two gametes is also there in both the chloropyce and the rapiopyce. If we think about the rhodopyce, mostly in rhodopyce, Ugamus is present because Ugamus is the advanced one. 
we have mentioned the advanced one. And the last one, always advanced one, the last thing system. Many last organisms are there, which are considered as advanced organisms. So here, not here. In protoplasy, mostly who we have mentioned only present. But the remaining two ICMS and SKMS, uh, these two are also present, right? See, that is about that uh, ectocarpus, uh, yeah, that is about the talus, ectocarpus, right? And uh, talus here, produced the okay, calyps, and this is about the reproduction process. And uh, see, uh, this is one of the laminaria structure, and within the laminaria are most of the PFIC, right? There is a cold cost. Root-like structures are called as here, cold cost. These are not the roots. Okay, this is one of the talus, the talus body. Cold cost is there, and the connecting part here is the cold cost and the leaf-like structure. This one is the leaf-like structure. This one is the root-like structure. This one is the stem-like structure. This one is stem-like structure. This one is root-like structure, and uh, these are the uh, leaf-like structures. So, uh, which are the uh, See, these are light structures but not the true structures. So this one is called as strong. The leaf like structure is called as strong. And stem like structure is called as strip. Root side structures are called as full pus. Right? Here there is a fucus. There is a okay, this one is uh, nothing but rock weed and the fucus have the very different characters. The fucus exhibit the external fertilization. External fertilization. And the fucus is also showing that uh, diplomatic life cycle. I will explain in that uh, life cycle process. The fucus is quite different from the time in all cases. Uh, exhibit here the diplomatic life cycle. Exhibit the diplomatic life cycle. I will explain what is a haplotic life cycle, what is diplomatic life cycle, what is haplodiplotic life cycle. Right? So this is the fucus. So here also the same thing. There is a cold past and strip and front is there. And within, the, within these structures, within the thallus, there is an air gland surface. Look at the red color. Here, the red color indicates here. Air bubbles of air gland like structures. Air gland is which basically holds the air, which basically holds the air. See, which are supporting for the exchange of the gases. Which are supporting for the exchange of the gases. Last one is the tissue. See, the Q term, dye. Okay, dye indicates here too. Every time the plant branches are divided into two. Every time the plant branches are divided into two. So, the plant is the, the plant is the Q term, right? So, this is the group that the Q by C, remember, here the main characters of the Q by C, we have to remember about the most dependent and the Q plus and then, right? The color of Q by C depends on Q plus and then, and storage movement here. Right. And the asexual reproduction, right. and the simple branch of elementus, ectocarpus, procule branch, calyps, and the, in this case, ICMS and ICMS, who gamas. Right. And uh, see, this is about the, the structures. Okay. Here, the whole first in the root like structure, which is supporting for the attachment. Supporting for the, uh, and these are the very key points for the TFIC. Next one, we will discuss about the protobase. Coming to the next type of uh, algae in the protoplasy, we know about the roto indicates here red. Pisces indicates here algae, right? Uh, red algae. Roto Pisces indicates here red algae. Sir, why these are exhibit the red color? There is a hypoerythrin pigment is there due to that hypoerythrin pigment. This algae exhibit the red color. See, uh, rhodopoiesi is considered as the advanced algae. So, why the rhodopoiesi is considered as the advanced algae? Due to the reason is, here there is an advanced reproductive organ subsidence. There is an advanced sexual reproductive organ subsidence. Especially within the red algae, there is a carpogonium structure subsidence. Carpogonium structure subsidence. That carbonium structures are nothing but uh, advanced female reproductive organs. These are the carbonium structures which exhibit the class shape. So these are considered the advanced sexual reproductive organs. Right? 
stick papers. See, within the stick papers, we have to prepare all the examples. Some to the See, this chapter is very, very important. I already said this chapter is very, very important. The examples are very, very important, especially. That is the point that I will give. And don't confuse the examination definitely when we are writing the exam that time. We may get uh, confusion. Those who follow the uh, running course, mostly the confusion is uh, avoided. And better prepare well in the CRM test too. And uh, at the same time, okay, classwork course is also very important. Right? And all of you prepare the uh, uh, stick papers with uh, examples. See here, uh, especially in this chapter, uh, some of the big sums are given from the NCRT. Then we have to know the global C is also included in the which type of the RK. See, there is a uh, Zyotropic C is the best example. See, within the Zyotropic C, the global C is included. The global C included. Actually, this is the output NCRT. Maybe sometimes we may have bits from the out of NCRT. See, uh, from the last two years, uh, out of NCRT is not given. There is a chance that uh, why don't we miss that kind of opportunity? If the bit is given like that, if we choose, we get the four marks, definitely four into, yeah, each mark is the difference is 10,000 francs, 40,000 francs difference is there. So, here, Okay, we have to know that the basic idea regarding that uh, out of some important out of NCRT concepts also. And uh, there is an algin in the algin is uh, one of the important uh, cell wall components. So we studied already, right? The very first of chloroplasty. See, algin produces the alginase. Algin produces the alginase. See, the fact that the alginase so we are using in the different types of uh, uh, facial, uh, facial uh, we know about that lotions, facial lotions, right, and soap making industry, very, very vast used in soap make, making industries and the body lotions, right. So in different types of uh, uh, lotions, alginates or uh, algin is used during the preparation process, during the making process, that algin is very, very useful. And actually the kerosene. Kerosene, uh, this is also used in the tablets preparation. Especially, we know tablets, some of the capsules are prepared, whatever that outermost coat is there, outermost the coat is there, that coat is prepared by the kerosene. That coat is prepared by the kerosene. Right? So, here actually these are the points which are not related to the anxiety, but uh, these are very, very important points uh, regarding the need examination. So, this chapter is very, very important compared to the remaining all. See, and uh, this is very difficult to remember, but if we follow one concept, uh, very easily we can choose the answers without any confusion. Right? That is about the uh, road and all of you prepare well for this week exam.